Okay, so I'm going to do another video, and as I promised, I'm running this on DCC, so digital controller. Uh, this is my NCE Pro Cab. Um, let's try the bell. Not bad. Uh, okay, let's uh, actually let's uh, get it running here. Let's try the whistle. It runs great on DCC as well, just as good as uh, on DC with uh, the remote that I did in my last video over there. So let's uh, oh, let's increase the speed here. I have just just as good control using the DCC as I do with the uh, remote and DC controller there. And the smoke generator works just as well. Now let's do a change of direction like I did in the last video. Change the direction. And the backup light should come on the tender. Yep, there we go. And starting to go in reverse here. Try the whistle again. Yeah, it's a bit faint, but you can hear it. It's there. Um, this one doesn't have a notifications um, uh, application when you're running on DCC. Okay, let's change direction again. So when you reach you know, speed step 126, which is the maximum, it's not going to um, do a notification for you like it does with the uh, DC remote control. I'm gonna stop it here and just put a little bit more smoke fluid in. Yeah, and I, th I thought that was kind of interesting. I think uh, you can see that the uh, DC uh, remote control has one feature that uh, DCC doesn't. Usually it's the other way around. Anyway, there we got this smoke generator working a bit better there. I just put a little, couple more drops of oil there. And let's, let's go to full speed here. Um, unfortunately, there's no shutdown sequence with these Atherin uh, DC and DCC remote control trains. Not like the MTH in Broadway where they have a shutdown sequence. But it's got everything else. Let's slow it down here. We're going to stop it here. Okay, very nice. Smoke generator is working great. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.